one of the things that I want to uh, teach you guys is how to how to be able to hold your dog's mouth open for five to ten seconds without biting or regardless of their part. Why is that? Hey, 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 settle. Why is that important? <laughs> Why is that important? Brushing their, Brushing their teeth. What else? Okay. The veterinarian. Yeah. What else? Getting something out of their mouth. Getting something out of their mouth. That's the main event right there. By the way, I always mention this. Um, I don't know if I've mentioned it in here. In terms of getting stuff out of the dog's mouth, I, you know, I don't know if you all have mushrooms in your backyard. There's two things that will kill your dog very quickly, and I've had lots of direct personal experience with this over the last few years. Mushrooms, it's more predominant in Marin, obviously, but every year, two or three of my clients lose their puppies to mushrooms, and if you don't get some mushroom, they'll probably die. So uh, um, just be aware of that. I have one of my clients over just now in Marin, they had a golden, six-month-old golden got into mushrooms, and the dog just made it, but it cost them 11K. So, uh, you know. So that's one thing, and then xylitol gum, or anything with xylitol. Do you guys know what xylitol is? Yes. It's this artificial sweetener. It will kill your dog like that, okay? And there's nothing you can do. If they get it, they're gone. So uh, one stick will kill a 100 pound Labrador. So how do I know? Okay. Um, Teach them a good off command and then start using it, you know. Um, and you know, also with the little older dogs, you can maybe use a, 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 a training collar. Um, but we can talk about that a little bit later. So, what I want to do now, I want to be able, so the reason I brought that up is because what, the exercise that I'm going to show you now is designed to be able to, to allow you to hold your dog's mouth open for five to ten seconds, like I said, without biting or rebelliousness. And the main event is there is going to be times in their life where you're going to need to get in there now get something out that's potentially dangerous. That's the, that's the real thing here. So um, I'm going to grab some treats. Maybe I use your little guy as a demo dog here. Hang on for one second. I'm um, so what I'm going to do, now the prerequisite to this is that the puppy has to be pretty good on this cradling thing. Because that I need to be able to cradle the dog pretty easily so that my hands can be freed up to do what we're going to do next. So. Uh, let's see what happens. All right, let me see. Hey, buddy. Come here, come here, come here, come here. All right, so we start by cradling the puppy. Yeah, pretty good puppy. Yeah. Can you grab your dog, please? Okay, so now I've got a pile of treats here. So what I'm going to do, the, the cradle has to be good so that I can take this hand. Come over here with my right hand, grab a treat. So I've got the dog pretty much here. So I, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this hand, put it up under the dog's, you know, on, on the top, on the dog's chest, under the chin. Maybe grab the collar just to hold him a little bit, so I can free this hand up, and then come over the top of the dog's head and pull the lips back from the teeth. That's important. If I just push on the lips to open their mouth, it's going to hurt because the lips are going to go on the teeth. It's going to hurt. They're going to struggle, and you wouldn't blame them, right? So you pull the lips back from the teeth, slip your fingers in right behind the canines, and then use this hand, open your mouth a little bit, drop the treat and say, open. Good boy. And in the beginning, well, I don't care if it's half a second. I just want the dog to start to get comfortable with the fact that I'm messing with their mouth if something good is going to go in, if not something bad is going to happen. Ooh. Open. Open. Yeah. And then, you know, good puppy. Big, big thing, right? Open, open. Yay. Now, this is a hard exercise. You can see, even with the treat going in, there's a natural reaction we all have. When somebody goes to point, I mean, look what we do with the dentist. They got to do all kinds of stuff to get us to open our mouth and keep it open. Seinfeld on the little monitor, you know, nature noises in your headphones and, uh, you know, whatever. Laughing gas, right? It's a very, you know, we, nature has built in a pretty strong reaction to having your mouth cranked open, right? So, you know, we have to overcome that a little bit. Open. Yeah. Oopsie. Subtle. Open. So in the beginning, you're only going to get a few seconds, right? And that's fine. I don't care how long. I want the dog to start to relax around 
me getting the mouth open. This is a hard exercise with my standard poodle. It took me about eight months to get her to the point where I could put my hand across the bridge of her nose and say open and she would visibly relax her lower jaw. Okay? This takes time and patience. So this isn't like sit her down and it's going to snap like that. Okay, so everybody give it a try, get started, and let's, let's see what happens. Thank you.